Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. In the last video, dramatic voice, we journeyed through Rose to Vanaheim. Freya and I kind of got things sorted a little bit. We seem to have uh, a sort of tentative friendship and we killed a big worm dragon thing. Can't remember what it's called. Jormungsganger. <laughs> They're all called Jormungsganger. Where are we? What are we doing? There's just a bit of law here. We have missed a couple things, but we're going to have to come back anyway, so that's cool beans. Not anything to worry about. And uh, here we go. It's B, right? Yeah, again, <laughs> playing this and Plague Tale at the same time is hard work. So, oh my god. Wait. Skull and Hardy are in Vanaheim? We learned the giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. Hmm. That's cool. The Eastern migration. It's just as I remember it. This is beautiful, actually, isn't it? At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freya, too. <laughs> New law marker harmony. In a realm of peace, there is only one crime, a disruption of that peace. Look about you, the land and its people in harmony, in balance, as constant as the sun and moon, yet balance is precarious, balance is easily lost. Cruelty, vanity, selfishness, these are the selfishness, and these are the forces that would disrupt Vanaheim's harmony. These are the forces of the Aesir. We are a peaceful people, but peace cannot endure without force to protect it. Which is why, the world will never be at peace because people want to protect that peace and they need weapons to protect that peace and you can never guarantee that everyone else is going to remain peaceful so therefore everybody needs weapons and therefore everyone keeps trying to kill each other war is inevitable and it's silly to pretend otherwise i'm not justifying war by the way <laughs> but it is inevitable then again we don't usually fight for peace we fight for money and greed corruption so you know is what it is. You know, she just gets to... What is that? What are you doing? Stop that. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Not sure I can kill that one. Leave me alone. Wait, is that not what I meant to do? I see something. Confused. You oh, won't be able to damage it without destroying the mother. I can't. It's a large bulbous thing. You can't miss it. Oh, that thing. God damn it! Leave me alone. Well, I think we figured out how to kill those things. I mean. <laughs> Not sure how I was meant to know that initially, but there we go. <laughs> Still, we've got a lot of a uh, lot of new crafting materials. So we're definitely going to do some upgrades. My sigils can break through their shield. Well, do it then. <laughs> like I'm pressing the button, and she's just chatting away instead. <laughs> Don't tell me you can do it, just bloody do it. God. <laughs> like, I mean, it's literally sitting there, jamming on the square key, whilst this thing comes and whomps on my face. God damn. I still need to work on this, don't I? A little bit. You just gonna call me a scrot? I'm not crazy in that I do still have to work on it a little bit, right? Oh, 
Oh, you cheeky little... There. Right. Chuck him off the edge, chuck him off the edge. Nice. I'm not totally convinced I do have to work on this, because I feel like I'd be done by now. <laughs> Alright. Big red attack. Okay, I find it very hard to believe I haven't done that one. <laughs> oh, I have done that one. Okay, <laughs> that's me being stupid. My bad. Uh, so let's do the forward in R2. And do I want to work on anything else? Barehanded, it's just not, it's just not something that happens. The only time I'm barehanded is after I've chucked the axe. That's just, that's a hard one to do. I can do the Frost Awaken ones, like all of them, I think. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do forward. Not this one. Oh, that's Freya. I'm trying to murder. This one's much worse because I can't stay. I can't stick on people. You know what I mean? It's taking me away from the enemy. It's much harder to chain it together. But anyways, that went fine. I've wasted a lot of time working on the one ability I'd already finished, but that's neither here nor there. Just making sure there's nothing in there. I think that's where we came from, right? Yeah. Okay, can go down there. That's probably the right way. Anything else in the immediate area? Nope, there isn't really much around here anyway, so we know we can move on pretty what safely. Since I last saw Freya, 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 sure Freya, Freya. What do you want from him? It is slightly An different. An apology would be a start. <clears throat> I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. You have me. Did you ever <laughs> to Demos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. Yeah. Home sweet home? Very nearly. Now how to get across. Use multiple sigils to chain elements towards hard to reach places. They grow in size and glow brighter when My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble. Is that the idea? <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm here. Ah! Nice! This can be powerful, even for the unworthy. My wife, Faye, taught me that. Hmm. Well, be glad you have a spouse to remember fondly. I mean, sure. That's always a tricky thing, that kind of, don't be sad it's over, be happy you had it in the first place kind of philosophy, which is very much a thing. I think, like, let's say you've had a wife or a husband or just a partner of some description for 20 years, and it goes for animals as well. You know, if you get a dog, you know you're likely to outlive that dog. And you know from the get-go, realistically, that there is immense heartbreak coming your way. And really, that's the nature of every relationship we ever have. You know, everything is finite. Everything is subject to entropy, you know? So... I don't know. See you later. I need to throw the block. I need to throw the block. Fine, you do your poison plant. Good job. Use a shield strike. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wait. The whip is creating more. I got it. I got it. Uh, 
This is this is a big boy, so it feels a little silly to maybe. Oh god! Oh god! Is it you? It's you, isn't it, Chief Blighter? That's one way to do it. Always better when it's just one enemy that I can just farm away on. There we go, silver done. Get in there, folks. Get in there. Oh, do you get XP for finishing those? Oh, nice. That little summoner lass. Little summoner lass. Anyways, my point is... Death is inevitable. <laughs> Waiting for all of us in all our relationships. And you know what? Near enough everything in life is transient, right? Of some, in some way. All Even... my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depths to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. Okay, I'm assuming... This is like a runic arrow situation, right? Oh, I just, I... Freya, I really don't need that from you right now. <laughs> and that not work? I really thought that was gonna work. Huh, I thought I was big brain. Alone. <laughs> hey, I, I knew I was doing the right thing. I just needed a minute. Oh, you never really know you're doing the right thing. My point is, every relationship you go into, every pet you have, like the only even lifelong relationships, like with your family members. First of all, aren't necessarily lifelong. I definitely have family members that I've lost, not in a dead, dead kind of way, but in a we're not talking anymore, probably never will kind of way. And you go into all these relationships knowing that they are inherently transient and that you're going to experience heartbreak at some point in the future. But that doesn't stop. Th I don't remember at all why I'm talking about this, by the way. But that doesn't stop them having value. However, however what? However something. I guess it's an interesting, I can see why some people avoid it at all costs. You see people talk about that all the time, like, oh, I'm not going to date anymore because I just keep getting hurt and stuff like that. At the so end of the day... Next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast unless you want someone to make that choice for you. At the end of the day, if you don't feel anything when it ends, it means it wasn't anything in the first place. And if you want to be happy and have those kind of relationships, not that you have to, you can be single your whole life and be perfectly happy if that's what you want, don't get me wrong. But if you want to open yourself up to those kind of relationships, then you inevitably have to open yourself up to that hurt as well. It's a po it's, you know, Ready. they're parceled together. As I ever will be. And if you think about it, like, you're going to go through a lot of relationships in your life. Most people are going to go through a lot of relationships in their life, realistically. So you kind of you're signing up for pain until one of them eventually doesn't give you pain, you know. And even that one will when someone dies or something. No. <laughs> oh. It really is you. 
You returned to us at last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne, we'll rebuild, me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me. Freya, please. I... I thought you were dead. No. I've had to live lifetimes. But those last awful words I said to you. Have any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. Oh, Freya. I mourned you. Oh, I missed you so much. And I, you, Envy. But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. <laughs> Brock came in at the last second to say that. Everyone's watching Not the entire you. thing. Everyone watches the entire thing. He waits till it's over, all. and then... Is you collecting your spare head? That's, Second, is that sigil magic I smell on your bow? Reckon that's an idea. Oh, a lot over there. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, if and you ain't staying here, bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tear. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. Well, all right then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well, brother, 
Care to meet our new allies? Or shall we depart? Ah, just let me move normally. <laughs> I wonder if her, like, I wonder if Atreus's skills apply to her as well. I could definitely see that being a thing. Excuse me, can you stop and help a lady out, please? Oh, I've got a little side mission. I love a little side mission. <coughs> what did I leave behind? Oh, barely anything. I'm a thorough, I'm a thorough guy. <laughs> Alright, let's have a little peek. I don't think... Oh, of course, we can upgrade the axe. Madness. 15 more damage. Crazy. Oh, yeah. We haven't even upgraded the bloody... We can upgrade the Blades of Chaos as well. <laughs> but, like... It's now another level behind the axe. Again. <laughs> Although I said it affected all things, so maybe... Oh, interesting. Grip of weighted recovery. Stun grabbing an enemy grants a blessing of cooldown. It's like my current one. Wait, I'm using that one. Okay, we've got some, we've got some, interesting, we've got some interesting stuff here, actually. Wait, where's my heal? Oh, is that my armor? It must be on my armor. So at the moment using that, high luck chance to grant a gift of strength on any axe heal. Now, as I've said, I don't love that just because it's on an axe kill. And it's not often... Like, let's think about that boss fight, for example. I would not get that for that entire boss fight because there's nothing else to kill. The last boss fight we did. What about my lucky knob? No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, so... Concussive wave at the end of the R1 combo. Now, I press R1 more than anything else, so that's good. Stun grabbing an enemy. That's interesting because that would provide cooldown. And if I use my armor with it... About time I had something to do. It would, um, I'd get both a cooldown and a thing. And you do use it in bosses, but not that much. I'm thinking that concussive wave is what I'm going to use. I gain six strength and nine defense. And I can craft a level four one without having to use any resources as well, because it, it's, you know, four's the lowest level, which is pretty sweet. I could actually upgrade it as well. So we're going to go with that. Cool. Same deal over here. Low luck chance on blaze hit to grant. Okay, that one I don't dislike. That one's pretty good. But we can also get spinning chaos and evasive embers of fate. No. Stun grabbing an enemy grab gifts of strength. I think I quite like the one I've got. Although that would give me defense. Defense. Um. You gotta think about when you actually use the chains. I'm going to, I'm just going to, just because this is level 4 one, I'm just going to grab this one now. You know, it's costing me a little hack silver, which doesn't really matter. I don't have to use, like, an upgrade item. Let's make something then. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can do that. You're level 3. You're level 4. I don't... I mean, it, it just, it works so well with my chest piece, you know? Yeah, screw it. Damn! Am I good or what? Oh, there's new ones. Chance to grant a rage burst when damage is taken. No, we saw that, didn't we? Melee attacks have a low luck chance. Oh, that's interesting, actually. That one I don't hate. Low luck chance to restore some cooldown. I don't know. I don't. I think until we've got a heavy. I know I've said this a few times, but I think until we've got like a heavy runic weapon, I just don't see much point in putting point a heavy runic attack and leveled up runic attacks. What's the point in putting? Oh, I need a jewel of Yggdrasil. Until then, what's the point in putting points into cooldown, right? And runic. Runic's already way higher than I thought it would be. Why is my runic so high? We saw both of those, didn't we? Yeah. What, what, what's boosting my runic to, like, crazy levels? You're not runic. Okay, no runic anywhere there. I have no idea. <laughs> Actually, no idea. Oh, hello, we've got some new enchantments. That's cool. And Lady Freya? Right, what's going on? I've got tons of stuff here. I don't know what any of these are. <laughs> like, what are all what these are things? <laughs> oh, superior one. Oh, we get more health. Why can't I make one? Because I've already got one. 
Interesting that it says, so that one says, note, cannot be activated without your companion. That one says, note, will not activate without your companion. Why does that have different... Why, why are they different? That makes no sense to me. Oh, wait, I can buy these? I only just realised I can buy these. Huh. It's cool. Right, enchantments. What are enchantments? Enchantments go in the amulet, are. right? Yes. Okay, now I think we've only got one in there at the moment, so we should get one. Um, I need three of those. I mean, I guess. It's cheap. You know what, the wall, I'm just going to craft all of them, because they're all dirt cheap, so why not? Okay. I can't get that yet. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> I'm going to get there eventually. The Sigil arrows deal increased status. That one I don't hit. So what am I using at the moment? Is these, that one... Uh, I'll, I'll worry about that when I've got a thingy back. Oh, but I need to sell. I need to sell. Rock. Rock. Let's do it. Oh, maybe I don't need to sell. I don't need to sell. Brock, never mind. Brock, Brock. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the river delta. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. I was so frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here <laughs> and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. You're really not going to tell me what this orb is, are you? Oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge. Mm. What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? Cool. Hey, what? Have I done these ones? Lost belt, lost cross. I do not know. Sure, I'm open. I have. Apparently I found them already. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh, it's so ugly though. Oh, it's so ugly. Oh wait, no, I haven't. It's just it's on the list. Barehanded attacks, parrying and blocking. Blah. I don't do any of those things. <laughs> what do these do? Oh god, it's it's like a poison set. I don't like. I don't want that at all. <laughs> yeah. Anything else going on? No. No. You you want to chat a loo? Chat chatter? No, no chats. Stop slowing me down, goddammit game. Should we ask him? Don't be rude. What's rude about asking for help? Big Fear, my love. Focus on your work. You Big Fear. Those it's okay, talk to me, Big Fear. Alliance is unusual. I, I think what Kratos is trying to say is he's never seen a light elf and dark elf work together. It's a welcome sight. Hopefully one day, a common one. Mimir tells me you're something of an adventurer. Should you ever find your way to the Forbidden Sands and Alfheim? Contested territory. Past the barons. There are rumors of a sanctum, and artifacts our elders don't want us to see. Anything that sheds light on our suppressed history would benefit all of Alfheim. Uncovering secret history? Sounds like my kind of adventure. Knowledge of the elves' common ancestry is what brought us together. Stories of Alfheim before the division of light and dark. It's very taboo. Didn't stop you from spreading word of it. Which is how you ended up in prison. Where she and I met. As enemies, naturally, but escaped as friends. More than friends. You can stop talking. Okay. <clears throat> Good luck out there. Thanks, buddy. Um, I mean, I can't. Do you miss Alfheim? You mean, do I miss the light? Do you? The truth? I still feel its pull. You want nothing else when you're near it. And away from it, you're only biding time until you can drink again from the light. But then again, 
The light does not make good food. It doesn't play music or tell jokes or open your eyes to new things. It makes you run in place. The more I am away from it, the more I see it for what it really is. And I don't need it anymore. Hmm. I appreciate your candor. Hmm. Oh. I think that's probably the only quest we have. I can't get to the other one though. I can't get to the one in Alfheim, I'm sure. So, what's going on here? Oh yeah, Amulet. Um, so, Midgard, Vanaheim, Niflheim, right. So, I mean, we get stats though, so I can get luck or defense or resistance to blinding. That really doesn't happen very often. So, it's going to be one of these two. Do I want luck or do I, want... I probably want defense or Okay, where are we going? So what is that? What is that? Right, where is we're going over there? Can I fast travel in this game? Oh, maybe? No. Aww. Uh I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk towards the blue and hope for the best. I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. We're not oh, going to the gateway. Since completing your mission, dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word. Freya's Alliance locks new combat equipment and a unique skill tree. Her use of both sonic and sigil arrows open new options in combat and puzzles. Okay. She has the same ones as... This is what I expected, that she would have roughly the same ones as, uh... As, um... Runic. Runic. So I thought Runic might be a... A byword for... All of the types, if that makes sense. It's not. It's a specific type of arrow. Like, like maybe you get Sonic, and you get Rune, and you get Fire, and they're all called Runic. But well, that's not the case, clearly, now that we have Runic here. So, first Runic, I need to, I mean, we need to focus on one. So that's Runic. That's Runic. No point having that. Sure. Okay. What are we feeling? Not that one. That one? Yeah. Well, I know, can I? Because she's been wearing that all day, so let's, I'm going to mix it up. I'm not just trying to take clothes off her. I know that's what it looks like. Uh, and we've upgraded our racks as well, so let's have a little peek. Ugh. 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 I hate all of them. <laughs> Hold triangle while sprinting. Oh, that's cool, though. I like that. You know, we're going to grab all of them. We always grab all of them. Where else are we going to go? Pride of the Frost. A heavy attack finisher. R1, 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 R2. Okay, I do that quite a lot, so we're definitely going to... You know what would be really cool? I'd love to pin. Oh, nice. I'd love to really, like, to, to pin it. Oh, that's really good. That's really strong, yeah. Let's have a look at Freya. She's got a few points. Freya can spawn vines from the ground that root enemies in place. She can summon vines that grab an enemy lying down and release a cloud of poison. That's cool. Vines last longer. Runic arrows deal more damage. Enters Valkyrie form. Yeah, 500 points. Damn right. Freya becomes much more aggressive. Sure. 
Hmm. Hmm. Let's go for that one. And, and! Oh yeah, spent all my XP though. <laughs> Let's just grab what we can. I kind of regret this. I feel like I should have upgraded my rage before I did this. Before I did any of the skills that I'm not going to bloody use anyway. <laughs> or oh, whatever. Heave ho! Come on, Freya. Teach me. Teach me, Freya. <gasps> She's going to. This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Okay, I don't want to do... I don't want to do... I, we'll, we'll come back later. But that's exciting. That's that's very... I think we're finally going to learn how to get past those bloody things. That's one more thing gone. Uh, that said, how am I meant to move past here? Okay, maybe I have to do this. Go ahead. Carve the letter. <laughs> it's the letter I. <laughs> okay. Sula. It's an su na. Su na. Working together is already opening doors for us. Uh, is he always making puns like that? Yeah. Okay, well, there's an undiscovered. So that oh, that wasn't the undiscovered. Interestingly We're enough. By more vines. Remember what to do. Nah, I do. I do. One that. One that. One that. That should work, right? There's a fallen log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. How do I swap her? We're clear. Thanks, game. All right, good stuff. So it's true. Tears really alive. Aye, not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now, but he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserve for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home. Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well... If you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. Which we can now actually get past because uh, of this if new ability. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I have to park up first because... Just, just do it from here, <laughs> Freya. <laughs> just do it now. You'll be fine. No need to get out of the bloody boat. Ugh! There we go. Much harder work than it should have been. Do, 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 do. Right, so. We can do alpha. Yeah, we're going to do both quests. Let's see why not. Although it means I'll have to come all the way back. That's going to be very annoying. But it is what it is. The game could, would benefit, I think, from a fast travel option. I'm not going to lie. What is this? The crest of Skirnir. Never quite as smart as he thought. Family crests? Oh my god, text. Though he comes from one of Vanaheim's oldest families, Skirnir never considered himself a Vanir, never considered himself, well, much of anything, truth be told. Skirnir was loyal to no one but Skirnir. He was that particularly infuriating brand of intellectual who forever seeks to place himself above others by refusing to ever be pinned down on a specific philosophy. If there were an issue with two sides, Skirnir would find a way to stand right in the middle and declare himself superior to all. If there were a fence separating two pastures, he'd find a way to balance directly on its edge. When Odin visited his wrath upon Vanaheim, Skirnir learned the consequences of neutrality. Neither side could be sure of where his loyalties lie, and so neither side could trust him. For the Iron Head Jar, he'd, that meant they'd chop his head off at the first available opportunity, which, given that the Vanir refused to provide him with shelter, came considerably sooner than Skirnir expected. I'm playing both sides, so I always come out on top. 
but giants definitely crafted it. There's two wolves represented here. Perhaps a connection to our friends in the sky. Maybe. A mystery for another time. Oh, don't say that. Everything's a mystery for another time. Everything! <laughs> Good. We can explore the river now. And hopefully write some more rooms. Still undiscovered? Oh, maybe that... Oh, that could be. A two, two chests. Oh, there's one in the camp, isn't there? Alright. Let's go this way first. Because it looks wrong. Also, what's this? Huh. Bonk. Okay, so we can get around. It's good to know we can get around the other side, though. Maybe that's what I'm here for, actually. It's been so long since we got one of these stat boosts, honestly. I love stat boosts. Oh, no. Game, why, why are you like this, honestly? Why do you just live to torment me? It's getting mean at this point. Not anything here. Be punished for my explorative nature. I hate that. That thing is the worst thing in the entire game to me. It really is. Alright. Never mind. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Let's see what we get here. Give it a good old tug. Thank you. Strength increased by two. Ah, oh, yeah. Really, it's a what very small set of grade, but... I left something behind, near the falls. Your wedding site. Now, why do you want to be going back there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage. And to Asgard. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. Just want to hang out with the monkeys. Can I stop there? It's not always easy to tell. No. But that's... Bodog Frey Camp, Bodog Frey Camp. I love this though. This is very cool. All these animals at the side. It reminds me... It's like the um, river tour in Jurassic World. Something in the water. It's even cooler. Hey, hidden region discovered River Delta. This river many ages Ooh, hello. Ago. Thousands traveled it on pilgrimage to the shrine of worship. But then the Aesir came. This is all that's left. Okay. Why is making that noise, first of all? <laughs> what the hell is that? I can't find a single dock point. Have I gone past one? No. Something's making some spooky, <laughs> spooky. Reverse. Oh, of course. That looks like a dock point to me. Lovely stuff. Wait, different region. Pilgrim's Landing, Chest, River Delta Favors, Law, and something else that I'm not allowed. It's like face me. Let's dance, boy! Ah, uh, nearly. I stopped it! <laughs> My name's on full health! I'm a genius. That attack always feels really strong. I mean, it's healing like no health at all, anyway. You know what? I saw that happening. <laughs> Patience is piety. Excuse me? What is wrong? Please, leave me to my prayers. I await Freya, the great healer. 
I am here. She will cure me. I have been a loyal follower. She would not abandon... <coughs> I am Freya. What do you need? Only she can cure my sickness. With Mangold, Meyer, and Poe. We must help her. She demands a cure. She is dead. <laughs> she is trapped here. Ignorant of her own death. If we bring her what she needs, she'll move on. You're certain. I'm not going to do nothing. She needs Mangold, Meyer, and Palm. We should find some. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that didn't quite work, apparently. Well done. Thanks. I'm big brain. Okay, what's this? What did you find? As you asked. Pom. Palm. I guess. No idea. It's one of them. A nook and song. Be wary. A what? What's going on here? What is this nonsense? Where are you? <laughs> oh right, right. The king. Who is it? Must stop that Noken from singing. I see it. Watch your light. I mean, he's dead anyway. Huh? You ch ch cheeky. I mean, it's so far away from me. I can't get. Get away from me! <laughs> Annoy me! You, st what are you doing? You're on full health. Why are you healing? There we go. So right trigger is more single target. All oh, right. Did you recognize her? The sickly spirit. <laughs> no. There was a time I could recall the face of every one of my people, but sometimes I wonder if God's lived too long. I once felt the same. Not anymore, now, my chat. <clears throat> nice little detail there with the moss overgrowing on it. That's cool. I need only one more ingredient for the cure. Two down, one. one to go. Then I fix things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. I see vines. So. 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 Uh, <laughs> not totally sure. Wait, can I reach up from here? No, right? I mean, that, they can't get very close, is my concern. Yeah, I can't reach that, right? So... So, right, I can hit that, whatever that is. Could be useful. Yeah, I guess. I don't know what the hell it is, though. <laughs> Oh wait, no, we can maybe light these on that. Yeah, okay, okay, making moves, making moves. But now I need to light the other ones somehow. There must be a way to transfer the fire. Ah, yes. Side. Ah, yeah, I, I got it, I got it. Don't worry about it. Do not worry. If it could stop moving though, that would be fantastic. Eh? Eh? Like that worked. We did it! Good job, gang. Oh, you guys were no help at all. <laughs> well, that did it. Whew. 
Got me a legendary chest and the final uh, thing, Mr. Geese. What is in the box? Grip of the Fallen Alchemist. Level 5, that's cool. High luck chance to grant a oh, Serpent Snare. What's Serpent Snare? Uh, how am I meant to find this? This is going to take a billion years. I do. Isn't it the one where I hold right trigger? No. Well, maybe. Hold right trigger. Yeah. So do that and get health burst. I mean, that doesn't sound terrible. Again, it's got the same problem that the others do in that it's 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 a it's a normal enemy focused move, right? Like, it's not as useful against... What's a what? Oh, right, that's why. It's a normal enemy focus move. It's not useful. I mean, you can still use that on bosses, though. That's an interesting one. I'll think about that. Let's return to the sick spirit. You will cure the dead. I promised I would take care of my people. You do not even remember her. Nor she you. Well, that doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm on her side for this. <laughs> Let's see why that matters. Part of me thinks this one makes more sense to level up when um when I've got the abilities to make it happen faster, you know. Okay, I didn't actually intend to do that. Nasty hit, you alright, brother? Come here, you. Cool. I feel like I'm in a in a nice place with the game now. I feel more solid. I don't know. Like I feel like I can handle most things. We have collected the plants. Could this be? I feel my vitality returning. I'm not sure you do, love. I'm not sure you do. Freya, I am here. I knew you would return, even as the doubters cursed your name. Thank you, but it's time to rest. You have earned it. Thank you, my queen. I am tired indeed. Shall we continue? Yes. Cool. Four nine. That's a that's a big one. As part of this fossil find, is that my first one? Yes, I've got. I annoyingly, I've got one of each. <laughs> I literally have one of each at the moment. Defense and cooldown now. Four defense, nine cooldown. What am I using at the moment? Ten cooldown. I mean, that's obviously better, right? Lose one cooldown, gain four defense. That seems like a no-brainer. Eh. I don't, I don't know if all stats are made equal. Law. Why am I missing the law for this section? Also, what's the undiscovered? This always throws me a loop. What am I possibly not discovering here? It's, it's just this area here. It's this tiny little bit. Like, there's no, like, where else can anything be? You know what I mean? So what are these undiscovered things that I'm apparently not finding? It's throwing me for a loop. Right. Is, is the undiscovered going to lead me to the law? I don't know. Is that the law there? That's the law there. So what's the undiscovered? Ah! <laughs> what's it say, brother? Dead on arrival. A warning to all who pass this spit of land. The dead here do not die. Rain or shine in the heat of the day and the chill of the night, they follow their master's will. Leave now whether you value your life or peace in your death. You do not want the prison of this magic. Necromancy haunts the dirt beneath your... Beat. That's fun for the whole family. Right then. Well, at least I can say this bit's done. Yeah. Until all that bloody undiscovered. I don't know. Here we go. Sailing away. Wait, no. 
Wait, 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 wait. I feel I should do this area first. So what is that, for example? Your what are you? Brother said, the ace here burned him. Yes. We weren't yet at war, but relations with the Vanir and Aesir had been hostile for ages. Freyr got it into his head that he could improve relations by sharing our magic with them. Vanir techniques for bountiful harvests, enough to feed their whole population. Getting set on fire was the thanks he got. That's true. Ah, but enough of that for now. This crest belonged to Odin, a peace offering from my people. Odin's Crest. When Odin married the goddess Freya, the people of Vanaheim, some of the more optimistic ones anyway, wished to welcome the Allfather into their culture. In a gesture of tragically misplaced hospitality, they carved the Allfather a family crest of his very own, a symbol of trust. He thanked them for the gift, then tossed it, tossed it away once he was out of view. It would not be the last time he betrayed the Vanir's trust. And a waste of good work. Yeah, telling me. Could you, could you not? Could you not do that? That'd be cool. What's this? What's that? What do you do? I remember you. What do you do, though? I've forgotten. I'm gonna punch it. <laughs> Alright, 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 okay. I really got stopped doing that attack. <laughs> Hits like a truck, man. Wow, that was terrible. All part of my plan, however. Where'd he go? I have to do it again. Oh. Whoa! Two stone wood, though. <laughs> that was really bad. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> just, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I just felt messy. That's the first time. Oh, hello. Ah! That is one of the first times I thought, you know what? Maybe having the regular. It's because I haven't leveled up my fury at all. It it seems nice having this like on call heal, but it doesn't bloody heal you, <laughs> which is my fault. I should have put points in it. This is huge. <clears throat> Non-violence. This will end in blood. The only question that remains is which side is willing to spill more. The ACO are not known for their mercy. Just ask the giants. Yet our realm is split between those with half a brain and those who believe that pacifism in action will somehow win the day. These Vanir would be kicked in the teeth and apologize for spilling their blood on the Anhajar's foot. Boot. We have tried to reason with these, whatever word is there, cowards. They cannot be swayed. They will not help us muster a resisting force in numbers of any real meaning. And so what else can we do? What else but entreat the seer magics to do what they will not? There are dangers to the old magics, yes, but can anyone say with confidence that they outweigh the dangers of doing nothing at all? Perhaps we will change. Perhaps our minds will fall to pieces. But if that is the price we pay for striking back against the Aesir, it is one we play gladly. We pay gladly. I said play godly. I am big brain. I'm really annoyed with how that fight went. It just it kept hitting me like a truck and I keep forgetting that I have a block button. <laughs> right, well, we're getting there. So we made a bit of a move. Oh, there's two ravens actually. This is a very tr complicated little place. Lots of lots of disembarked points. Okay, one, two, but still. Uh, we're looking for another fav- oh, there's another favour. Interesting. Anyways, anyways, we'll carry on in the next video. We're going to finish off Vanaheim. Might take another episode. We'll see how long it takes. And then we're going to head to Alfheim and do that section as well. And then we'll move on with our lives. Until then, thank you very much for joining me. Cheers, much as always. Bye-bye.